you stress on object, it becomes verb. Project. What do you mean by project? When you stress on pro, it becomes I will research. When you stress on ject, it becomes project, projector. Project means show. Project means show. Okay, object. How many vowels are there? O and E. So, two beating should be coming. So, if it is a noun, object means it is a thing, purul, object. As a verb, you stress on ject, it becomes object. What do you mean by object? When you stress on ject, it becomes refuse, maru. Maru. So, ject is stressed more. When you stress ject, it becomes verb. When you stress ob, it becomes noun. So, all the nouns, first part should be stressed. And for all the verbs, the second part should be stressed. Noun and verb, you know, where to stress, uh, when to stress. Noun should be stressed in a sentence. If nouns are not there, verb should be stressed. And the third important stress you should go for adjective. And fourth important stress you have to go for adverb. Pronoun, preposition, conjunction, interjection should not be stressed. So, according to the order, noun, verb, adjective, adverb. Pronoun, preposition, conjunction, interjection should not be stressed. Aba or vakyatla peichul, venichul, peiruchul, veniyuruchul, adi haratam buduka vendu. Munnadichul, pradibaichul, kutadichul, archeriachul, evahiluku ningal, aratam kuduka tevaile. For example, here you see pronoun. What, is the, what are the pronouns? Can anybody say? He, she, it, they. In a sentence, it should not be. Pronounce at all, not much given. We should not give much important. So, preposition. Can you say any example for preposition? Preposition, munadichol. At, for, from, all those things. Then, conjunction, scootedichol. Any example for conjunction? And, but, all those things. So, all these words, you know, model verbs, even this should not be stressed, can, should and all those things. See, now for example, you, you take uh, E, you don't say he, no, E, e just E, they is they. Uh, how do you stay stress for this for as a preposition? You should say just for, for. This is for me, this is for me, for me, from. You don't say from, you say from. I'm from, I'm from, I'm from Calcutta, I'm from. You don't say I'm from, I'm from Calcutta, from. And conjunction, you take and, you never say, you don't say and. You just say and. I like coffee and tea, I like coffee and tea, I like chicken and mutton. I like chicken and mutton, only and. You are not supposed to say and. Just say N, that's all. So, these are the, instead of, uh, you know, should. should, should. All those things in he, she, that, and can, at, how do you pronounce this? At, t, that's all. In, mm. on, in. So, preposition, conjunctions, and interjunctions should not be stressed much. In a sentence, is not given importance. This is unstressed words. So, uh, by this we are going to close on the chapter 2. All those things we have given in video recording, uh, we just go through that. And each word by word and sentence by sentence we have given that. Uh, dear students, now we are going for chapter 3. Briefly, I am going to say, what is there in chapter 3? Moonram Pakathu Kuporo. Rambo Shata Sola Pore. And the Moonadhi chapter in Nirukuri. If you talk in the beginners you will find it difficult. The beginners you will find it difficult to speak fluently in English. To develop your fluency, to develop your speed, your rhythm, what you should do. Mind you, when you want to speak in English, you have to connect word and word, isn't it? That's the most important. We should connect word to word. When you want to connect word to word, you have to follow four rules. Any word ending and any word starting. Any word would end up with a consonant, a consonant, 
प्लस ए कॉन्सनेंट दिस इज द फर्स्ट रोल वर्ड एंडिंग विद ए कॉन्सनेंट एंड ए कॉन्सनेंट वर्ड एंडिंग विद ए बॉबल एंड ए वर्ड स्टार्टिंग विद ए बॉबल नंबर थर्ड रोल इज वर्ड एंडिंग विद ए कॉन्सनेंट and starting with a bubble and the fourth rule is d any word ending with the d any word ending with the t any word ending with the z any word ending with z plus y what it gives so it's important so consonant consonant meyeluthudan mudiyakoodiya vaarthai meyeluthudan aarambikkakoodiya vaarthai any word which ends with a consonant and any word which starts with a consonant so how do you say for example uh number 1 he sold 10 oranges he sold 10 oranges so dt the word ends with the d the word starts with a consonant word ends with a d consonant word start with a consonant He sold ten oranges. He sold ten oranges. See, N is connected with an orange. So D is connected with D. Is so. E is connected with yes. So he sold ten oranges. He sold ten oranges. So this is ends with a consonant. Starts with a consonant. The second is ends with a vowel and starts with a vowel. Ending with a vowel. and starts with a vowel see for example please please go away here it ends with a vowel starts with a vowel so how do you go you connect with the w please go away away please go away you say away please go away she spoke to the other person she spoke to the she spoke to the other person so ending with e starting with e how is it connected it is connected with y she spoke to the other person yada it is connected with the go o starting with a it is connected with the w e ending and starting with o it is connected with y consonant and a vowel What is an example for a consonant and vowel we have given here in our book? Please speak over. Please speak over. Here, K is a consonant. K वंदु मेयलत्ते. O वंदु ओर वीरलत्ते. It ends and starts. Ends with a consonant. ओर मेयलत्ते तुरंत मुड़ी आड़े कर दे. ओर वीरलत्ते तुरंत आरंभ कर दे. आप ये प्री कनेक्ट करने में क्या? Please speak. Kova, Kova. Please speak Kova, Kova. So next, you are going in for D. Any word ending with D, T, S, or Z plus Y. D plus Y is called J. Okay, could you come? Could you come with me? Could you come with me? So D plus Y. How do you pronounce? Could you? You say could you come with me? Could you? Could you come with me? So D plus Y is called J. Okay, this is the first rule. अब D उड़न मुड़िया कोड़िया बात तय. Y उड़न आरंभिक के कोड़िया वो र बात तय. D यूम Y यूम सेंडा J ऐनु सोला बे नो. अनाले here could you come with me? How do you pronounce? You have to pronounce could you? Could you come with me? The second one is. T plus Y. T plus Y. T plus Y is called Chu. Can't you? Can't you? Can't you speak Hindi? Can't you speak Hindi? Can't you speak Hindi? T plus Y. Chu. T plus Y. Chu. Can't you? Can't you? This is could you? This is can't you? Can't you speak in English? Can't you? 
T plus Y is Chu. Apa, can't you? Can't you speak in the T la mudi vada ikhara du, Y la arabi ikhara du. T la mudi vada ikhara du, Y la plus Y. Adha Chu endu sulvo. Adhata dhaka moon rao rule. Yes plus Y. Yes plus Y is equal to what? Sh. Yes plus Y ke apdi sulvi inga? Please dress yourself. Dress yourself. Z plus Y. For example, you can see. How is your business? How is your business? Business. You can say business. How is your business? It's wrong pronunciation. Hello, Namachinga. After A, E, I, O, U, S comes. S is changed to Z. How is it? Z. Apa in the IS in the end sound or no? What sound it should come? Z. A, E, I, O, U. Kapra S on the time. S on the Z. Dakam are you ready? After A, E, I, O, U. S comes. S is changed into Z. So IS is converted into Z. Z plus Y. How's your? How's your business? How's your business? In the barring business. After U, S comes. So S is changed into Z. After E, Yes comes, so yes is changed to Z. So in a solving a business, Z, business. So this is the short of, uh, you know, con contents of uh, the chapter 3. Now you look and listen to the CD to understand each and every word what we have given. Take your accent training book, page number 57 to 74. That's what we are going to see. Page number 57 to 74. The topic is T, the pronunciation of T word. 57 to 74, T. You know, T functions in five, T is pronounced in five different, uh, five different ways. Suppose T at the beginning, number one, T at the beginning of the word. T at the beginning of the word. Beginning of the word. Any examples? Can you tell T at the beginning of the word? Teacher. Okay, teacher. Teacher. Table. table. Okay, how do you pronounce this teacher and table? The T should be spit out. T teacher. Table. It should be spit out. Okay, teacher, table. This is the first rule. And the second rule is T at the end of the word, end of the word, at the end of the word, any, anything? Goat, okay, got, taught, and then, hit, here, this T, here this T is not spelt out, it is kept inside your mouth, hit, caught, taught, it is not spelt out. Teacher, you are spitting it out. When uh, T at the beginning of the word, you are spitting it out. T at the end of the word, it is stuck in your mouth. Caught, bought, taught. You are not saying it out. The third rule is, T in the middle of the word, T in the middle of the word, T in the middle of the word, followed and preceded by vowel. Followed and followed and preceded, preceded by a vowel, by a vowel. T is changed to D. See, for example, computer. Computer. See, T is here. Before T, what is there? U is there. After T, what is there? So, T is followed and preceded by a vowel. T is converted to D, computer. You say computer. Computer. Enter. 
enter is convert enter enter okay 20 20 then any other word computer better t is changed into d better 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 so this is the third rule what is the fourth rule fourth rule is after n t comes after n t comes with a lax vowel with a lax vowel what do you mean by lax vowel t is not pronounced t is not pronounced t is not pronounced for example what see interview interview so how do you say interview after n t comes after t e comes e is lax so it is pronounced as interview how do you say in a view international international how is international pronounced international international twenty twenty how is twenty pronounced twenty twenty it is pronounced as 20. This is the fourth rule. And the fifth rule is after T, after T in a word with many words in between, N comes after that. You should jump to T to N. See, in a word, for example, mountain, word, word is called mount, mountain, you say, isn't it? After T, N comes, you are forgetting this and you are jumping to mountain. You don't say mountain, mountain, mutton, mutton. You say mutton. You say, for example, certain, C R T A I N. You should say what? Certain. You forget this. You are going for certain. And in a word, if after T, this is the fifth rule, sixth rule, after T, yes comes. After T, yes comes. T should be stress. Students, after T, R comes. T should be stressed. Control, control, T should be stressed. For example, TR. Any other word? Tragedy, tragedy. So, R should be stressed. So, Motha, you put T in Udaya, Vaki at the day, under the Vartha, T in Udaya, Mukia to Vatai, Park of Pohiratical. Either R Mukia Bahangalai, say here the T Vartha in Munal Varumbur, the T Ucherika particular, the teacher and so long, T A Althamaha Chulgiro. Vati in Mudivile T when the tal T A Wuchari Padilling. For example, caught, taught, got, and the T Wucharika Padwadilling. Number third rule. T in the middle of the word. Vati in Naduvile T when the T Kumunarum Pinarum Muiranath Kalvandi Vital. And the T D Aham Ari Vidhirade. For example, butter a butter, enter a inner, computer, computer, and so on. Add to the Yen kapram T one the other kapram Kurihi Virelith one the Vital and the T Wuchari Kapadwadale. For example, interview and the Solirum are the interview and the Solavendum, international and the international and the Solavendum. Adta Daka Yen Tika Adta Daka or Vartile, Konjavatagil Yede Levanda, other kapra Yen one the Vital, T in the Yenik jump and ring. If a certain and the Solon C R T A I N are the certain and the Solavendum. Mountain and Solvinga, mountain and Solavendum, a mutton, a mutton and Solavendum. So Adatha Daka, or Vartil a TS in the and the TK, Adatha Mudukno, TR, TR Kartha Mudukno. So either Landa and T no day rule, either than chapter, uh, fourth chapter learning a parking. My dear students, what you are going to see is the letter R, the letter R. It is a very important word, you know. It is said that once you know how to pronounce R, 
you are considered to be an half American. You are considered to be half American. The chapter here is chapter 5. So, this is chapter 5, chapter 5, page number 66 to 74. 66 to 74. This is very important uh, letter in English. Once you know how to pronounce R, you are considered to be an half American. So, R is considered to be, R is considered to be semi-vowel. Semi-vowel means what? It belongs to A, E, I, O, U. It is 50 percent vowel and 50 percent consonant. So, R, you say A, I, I, R. So, how do you pronounce R? This is most important. See, this is the tongue. You think this is the tongue. This is the tongue. You say ah, when you say er, you have to roll roll the tongue like this. Ar. The R should be vibrated inside your tongue, inside your mouth. It should not be spelt out. Inside the mouth, the sound should come like just like how you have told in the morning. Mm. So R. So R is pronounced sounded inside your mouth in between the hollow part, hollow part of your tongue. So, R. So, mind you, can you tell few words, few words with R? See, for example, red, ram. Where are you? Where are you? How do you say where are you? So, how many R's are there? One, two. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? So, R plays a very important role in your pronunciation. So, R, R, R. So, you just uh, twist your, roll the tongue. It should not touch the upper part of your mouth. It should roll. That is all. This is for R. Okay, sir. You got it. Say everybody together. Ram. 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 Well. Well. Register. Register. Controller. Controller. Father. Mother. Dear students, what we are going to see is the letter L. Chapter 6, chapter 6, uh, page number 72, 74, 74. See, L is also considered to be a semi bubble. You start with E and L. L, L. So, you just pronounce start with E and end up with L. So, it is considered to be a semi-vowel, semi-vowel. See, certain things L in a word should not be pronounced. For example, what? You see, you take this C-U-L-D. You do not say could, you say could, should, right? Say, for example, you do not say talk, you say talk. You do not say palm, you say palm. You do not say always. You say always, always. You do not say always. You should not say always. You should say always. You do not say already. You say already, already, already. So, L plays an important role. L in the beginning, L in between and L at the end of the word. L in the beginning, what? Could you tell any, any, any word? Lotus, lotus. L in between. Cancellation, cancellation, yell at the end, yell at the end, uh, uh, control, control. So, this is what is all about. So, apart from this, you want to go deep inside, word by word, we are given the CD, please listen. It. Dear students, now what you are going to see is sound and z sound. So, chapter 7, chapter, chapter 7. Page number 75 to 81. Page number 75 to 81. Yes and Z. Very important in English. You know, generally they say, Dasubusun Pesra, isn't it? So, is and is, is and is plays an important role. See, oh, oh, you know the voice, con there are certain rules. Where you should pronounce S yes, and where should you pronounce Z? You know voice consonant and unvoice consonant, which I have taught you. What are the voice consonants? Could you say me voice consonant? Voice consonants are 
what voice consonant number 1 is b number 2 is b see b plus s is equal to z b plus s is equal to z for example cabs you were talking about cab isn't it it is changed into cabs okay next word you take d d is a voice consonant d is a voice consonant d plus s is equal to z anything ending with a d anything ending with a d huh any 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 word ending with a d see see your books you can find out see for example words 